So we have two minutes left. Hey, Mike, you made it to all three videos, I think, tonight, Mike. Nice. It's funny, this two-minute counter really helps me get things ready, too. Seconds, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Hey, Jinx Caliber. Boo! All right, well, thanks for joining me for yet another video today. I know, kind of getting a lot of videos today. Well, this thing finally finished printing, and uh, I got my paint so we can do some uh, painting on it too. Let me go ahead and grab my uh, paint tray. You know, I don't want to grab the paint tray until after I test this out. So as you guys know, um, I made the first one and I made a nice hole in the bottom. But the problem was, is there is a secondary pin about right here in the top of the castle that I did not account for. So it didn't fit. So let me show you this at the top of the castle. Let me get my light. So, right there is that second pin, and so because of that, when I stick it on there, it wobbles on that pin. So this will be the discount model that I'll have on eBay. Starting bid will be a buck for it, because it's aired, and it, you probably could drill a hole right there, because it's a thick piece right here. So you probably could drill your hole carefully in there to uh, make it work, but it's just kind of a bummer that... Um, I didn't account for that. So the new one, I made a channel, made a whole entire video just on and accounting for it. And let's see if it actually did work. So let's first take off these extra pieces here from the print job. Uh, this came off really easy. Oh, I have these two to take off. And there's my new channel. Look at that. Look how nice that looks all the way around. And to make this channel work, I had to actually make the base tall. So you can see the base difference in height. And so there is the taller base version of it. Now before I throw it up there, let me go ahead and uh, hit the glow button. and Let's see how this thing works. Thanks, Allegra's channel. All right, so TimDog09, thanks for joining us. Spiker, Randy, um, Seth, thanks for being here, you guys. So let's first kill the lights. Lights off. Oh, they're bright. There we go. Let's go ahead and... Oops. Let's go turn this on first. Charge this thing up. Charge up the stalactites and stalagmites, too. Uh, I already got my night sky turned on, so it should have a nice blue hue in the background. And let's go ahead and kill this light. Boop. And then we will kill this light. Boop. Ooh, ah. Uh, look at that. Oh, my 
video is not playing anymore, so there we go. All right, so it does glow in the dark, which obviously I knew it would. There's extra little pieces. It's so cool, these little thin pieces. They just have a slight glow to them because they're so thin, but they just look so cool. There's got to be some use for these things somewhere. I mean, they just look like some kind of cool something or other on the side of the castle or slime pit or something. I don't know. Anyway, let's go get the lights back on. You know what? I'm just going to turn this light on. Boop. And let's go ahead and uh, see if this new one fits. If I did the measurements right. So the center hole will go in the center part. And this should go where that pin is. Well, yep, look at that. It actually works. Hooray. And it spins around, doesn't wobble. Nice. So I am happy with that. And I made sure there's lots of playroom. So I want it to fit kind of loose on there. So you can move it around a little bit. And uh, there you go. Hooray. All right, so let's paint this thing. Let's do this thing. Uh, happen to got a nice soft paintbrush here. I'm going to turn my lights on. Lights on. Now, I'm not going to paint this one, the, the one that's going to be the, the um, one that doesn't quite work right. Let's push that castle back into its hole. I was tempted to make the whole entire circle just empty, which I could have. Um, but I wanted this for extra support for in case when I make my large one. Because my large one's going to use the exact same model. That it will have more support on the bottom. And not just a big open hole in the bottom. So that's why I decided to go with the ring. As opposed to having it completely closed. Otherwise you'd have, you might have too much bare space in here for it to sit on just little chunks of pieces. So that came out really cool. Try to find those anomalies that I... Yeah, there they are right there. Those itty bitty little spots in the corner right there is my anomalies I had in my model that was driving me crazy when I was trying to smooth them out. But you know what? You can't even can't even hardly tell they're there. Just some slight little anomalies because it's so small. But that looks pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with how it's turned out. All right, let's get down to business. Let's get down to business. I got my uh, thin black paint here. There it is right here. It's labeled thin black. That way I know which one's the thinned out one. Give it a little shake. It's funny. Here's the black spot I did last time. And I painted the big one. So I'm not going to need as much black for this. Herb. That's probably more than enough. And I got a little bit smaller paintbrush than I had last time. See, it stinks is this table, it's one of those folding tables. <clears throat> so right in the middle, everything wobbles. And it's annoying because when I've set up, oops. When I set up my Snake Mountain, it wobbles right in the middle um, between that spot. So I have to put some big giant wood wedges just to uh, make it work. All right, so let's go ahead and paint this. Let me check your guys' comments before I get too far on this. Looks like it's good to go. The green glow is the best. Yes, the green does glow a whole lot brighter than the white. I personally like the white glow better. Um, because, you know, I just like it better. But the green glow does have its its pluses because, obviously, it uh, glows a lot brighter for a lot longer. That's right, so you guys can see as I paint this. There we go. In retrospect, I probably should have grabbed a little bit smaller brush. That's okay. It'll still come out really cool. You know, I might go grab that smaller brush after all. So when I get to the parts on his face, 
I'm going to need the smaller bristles to get around his nose and You guys hang out here and stare at these black soulful eyes while I go grab a smaller brush. Now after I paint this all black and get all my stuff the way I want it to look, I am, am I still live? Hmm. Well, I guess I am, okay. What a crazy delay on that. <coughs> it's a long delay. All right. So after I'm done with this, I'm going to put a whole bunch of clear paint on it. But you got to make sure when you put the clear paint on it, you do not use the UV paint. Otherwise, the glow won't work very well. So it's a little bit different than we did before with the other stuff. Because this time we don't want the UV on it. It's kind of like a sloppy mess. It's because it is, and it's on purpose. We want the, the, the black to be kind of slopped on there a little bit just so that it has the cloudy kind of surreal look to it. Nice. That's coming out really cool. So now I'm kind of darkening the center parts of it just to, uh, Give it that more depth look to it. Okay, now it's time for the fun part. This is the part where I cover the whole thing with a wash. This is probably the most fun. It's where you get a bigger brush like the one I started with. And you really take off most of the paint. And then you just kind of brush over it as a wash. And it just kind of gives it kind of that dingy cloud kind of appearance to it. Let me 
use that small brush. I like to have this hole right here filled it in black too. There we go. Just to give it that smoky kind of spirit of gray skull look. I try to put less on the back just because you're not going to see the back that much. This will help brighten it up if you decide to backlight it a little bit when you're doing your charge. And same with the base tubing. The base is where it all stems from. You don't want quite as much black on the base either. That I will totally coat this with tons and tons of clear to keep this dry brush on there. That looks pretty good. Darken around these eyes a little bit more. Woo, there we go, it's done. Look at that. Okay, so let me go ahead and uh, let's charge this up again and see how it looks. Lights off. There we go. There is this spirit of Grayskull. Pretty cool. Huh? Let's go ahead and hit this guy with some fresh light. It's funny how much brighter. I cannot believe the way they made this uh, scare glow. It's, it's incredible how good this guy glows. This Origins one. I am just blown away by. All right, let's go and put it back on top of the castle. Ta da! Ta da! Ta da! -da. That looks pretty cool. King Grayskull here too. I could see him glow. So I didn't make him glow last night. His glow fades really quick though. Brrr, see how fast that fades. And this is that blue King Grayskull my friend made. Actually, I'm surprised it's not fading quicker. 
Usually it fades a lot faster than that. Let me all set them aside. See, the white one, I just like the white glow. It's so cool looking. Now, granted, it's not nearly as bright as the green, because the green one's still going, and I didn't recharge that one. So let's look at the size difference. So here are the sizes. Oh, here's the original. Oops. There we go. All right, you guys. So I should have this, I should have this one on eBay pretty quick. After I do a bunch of clear coats on it, maybe uh, tomorrow or Thursday. And this one's on eBay right now, and it's only up to like four bucks right now for this giant one. Unbelievable how inexpensive it is. And this one I'm keeping, not going on eBay. And this one should go on eBay pretty quick, and it's not going to be painted. It's just going to be like that, because it's the one that doesn't have the hole to fit on top of the castle. So it's my error one. Error, error. That looks pretty good, though. I like that. Let me look at you guys' comments. So is it the spirit of King Grayskull or the spirit of Castle Grayskull itself? That is a really good question. So in the original comics, there was no King Grayskull. It was the spirit of Castle Grayskull. But because they have released King Grayskull and his story, technically King Grayskull is the spirit of Grayskull. So there you go. Kind of messed up. I'm going to charge the white one last because it glows the worst. Uh. It's funny. The arms lose the glowing the first part because it's the smallest piece. Wow, look at that. Boom, boom, boom. See, the white glow just looks so cool, you guys. I know it's not as bright, but it's just cool. And whoever's idea it was to put the black, it does look way better with the black on there. And just the non. And yeah, you can still see the eyes and stuff, but. All right. So I think that's all I have for tonight. I'm going to head downstairs and spray paint this one and get it on, on eBay soon. Let's see, what did Gordo345 say? Uh, hey, I just bought the whole wave of McFarlane Dark Knight Returns Batman built the figure that Dark Knight Returns Batman built. Oh, built a horse and I'm using it for my combatants figure and it looks amazing. Nice, man. Uh, I think Pixel Dan's a bigger He-Man fan. Sorry. My my fandom, believe it or not, actually is is uh, Micronauts. Micronauts is my favorite, but I can't afford them. So my second one was He-Man. It's funny. My first figures I ever customized, believe it or not, was actually the um, preschool figures, the ones that would come with the farm or the school. Um, I used to have the town when I was a kid, and I would actually customize those figures. And... Uh, so it's kind of funny how that was my first customizing. Then I remember, too, I had a G.I. Joe that lost his head. It was actually an imitation G.I. Joe. And I had some kind of candy or it had a red dog head. And I put the red dog head onto my G.I. Joe. So he had a red dog head. And I remember uh, my foster parents were like, ah, what is that? What's this kid doing? You know, making this crazy dog person i thought it was pretty cool though and now it'd be seem normal compared to the figures we have nowadays so oh they're just so cool looking yeah i'm gonna make another one of these for me so after this one sells after my room's clean in a couple weeks maybe a month then i will make a giant one for myself again so kind of excited about that but it's 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 my gift to myself for cleaning my room these little chunks do look cool 
Uh, let me go ahead and charge one up really quick. Burp, 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 burp. See, look how cool that looks. Now it does lose its glow very fast because it's such thin material, but it's still uh, still kind of cool. All right, like, subscribe, tell your friends, and I will see you guys in a couple days, probably for a video. And uh, I show you pictures on eBay. Okay, cool. I prefer if you use, you know, Facebook or something else because eBay always wants me to respond and they grade me on my responding, but that, that's fine. Yes, the Mythic Legion horse is pretty spendy. I'm going to charge his grace go up again. It is kind of fun. King Grey Skull. In case you didn't know, this is the blue one, not the green one. It's the one one that my friend made. And it's funny, he just add glowing he just added glowing powder to his blue resin he was working on. And I guess he had to hurry and do it because the the, re, the powder kept sinking to the bottom of the resin while it was wet. So uh, he had to keep it in motion the whole time so it would not sink. I'm going to have to use the furniture polish on this guy's joints. Uh, all right. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. I know I've already told you guys that. <laughs> it's so hard to say goodbye. It's so much fun hanging out. But anyway, uh, see you guys next video. Bye now.